President Emerson Umingabwa has cracked the whip on Aaron Zanu PF top officials whom he either suspended or expelled from the party accusing them of backing former political commissar Xavier Kasukawa's presidential bid ahead of the August 23, 2023, harmonized elections. Kasukawa was, however, barred from contesting in the elections by the courts on the grounds that he had resided outside of Zimbabwe for more than 18 months hence was no longer a registered voter. Former ZANU-PF Muter North legislator Batsarai Pemhane, who lost in ZANU-PF primary elections last year, has been shown the exit door. Pemhane lost in the internal polls to admire Mahachi. Gottfried Senegama, a former ZANU-PF youth boss, told journalists a few months before the elections that they had mobilized disgruntled ZANU-PF members to rally behind Kasukawa's candidature. He cited Pemhane whom he said was recruited to mobilize support in Manakalan province. In a letter dated March 7, in the possession of Newsday, ZANU PF Secretary General Obert Mpofu confirmed the expulsion of Pemhane. The letter serves to advise you that the Politburo sitting at the 372nd Ordinary Session on February 29, 2024 endorsed the National Disciplinary Committee decision to expel you from the party with immediate effect. The letter read, The decision was arrived at after the National Disciplinary Committee had found you guilty of disciplinary offenses prescribed in the ZANU-PF Party Constitution Article 37, Section 549 Subsection 9, 12 and 16. Pemhane is not new to controversy. He was once convicted and sentenced for assaulting former ZANU-PF Manikalan Provincial Chairperson Mike Medeiros' personal assistant, Wilson Nyamand. The Politburo also recommended the suspension of Manikalan Provincial Women League Chairperson Happiness Nyakwedzwa. You have been suspended from holding any leadership position in the party for a period of two years with immediate effect. Suspension is in accordance with the amended ZANU-PF Constitution Article 36 Section 531, Subsection 4. Read the letter signed by Npofu. Naya Kwedzwa is accused of insulting ZANU-PF Women's League Secretary for External Affairs Betty Kasiki. She is also accused of misusing party resources in Manikalan's timber project, among other allegations. Meanwhile, the Politburo has endorsed the readmission of former Youth League leader Kudzai Chipanga. Chipanga was fired from ZANU-PF in 2017 together with several other members aligned to the G40 cabal following the ouster of then-President Robert Mugabe in a military coup. According to the letter, Chipanga is now free to contest for any party position. This letter serves to advise you that the Politburo sitting at 372 ordinary session on February 29, 2024, agreed to readmit you to the party with immediate effect. The letter read, You are now free to participate in all party programs and activities without prejudice with immediate effect. You can now enjoy the full rights and duties of being a member of ZANU-PF as provided under Article 3 of the ZANU-PF Constitution. ZANU-PF Manikalan Chairperson Tawanda Mukadza confirmed receiving the correspondence although he could not be drawn into revealing more details. We have correspondence from our party leadership, and this is what I can only tell you," Mukadza said.